Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a one sample Z test. Alright, so um, I have a question in front of you. So how about you go ahead and pause the video and read the question quietly to yourself. Okay, at this point I'm assuming that you're done reading the question. If you're not, just pause the video. Go back and pause the video and read it to yourself quietly. Okay, let's get started. So to solve this kind of problem, there are three things that I like to do. I like to draw out a picture. It's helped me see, because I'm a visual person. Mm, my pen just die when I'm start doing this. All right, this is not. Okay, this is much better. A bell-shaped curve and another one. The next thing I like to do is write out the given information that I get from reading the question and the test. Okay, so the given information are, if you read this part over here, 7, resistance is not 70 ohm. So 70 is a mu, so mu is 70. And the sample size is 36, so I write N equal 36. If we read furthermore, it says that the sample average is 66 ohms, so the sample average is X var is 66. And the next thing is standard deviation is 10, so standard deviation is small s equal to 10. And if you keep reading, its alpha level is equal to 0 0.05. I'm going to put the alpha level at the test over here, 0 0.05. So there are two kind of tests. So I have the null hypothesis test and the alternative hypothesis test, which is HA. For the alternative and the null is HO. So the HA, to find out what the HA test is, you can read this. Um, the question is, is there a sufficient reason to reject the shipment? So you might ask yourself, well, what is the reason, right? So it's a, is there a sufficient reason to reject the shipment? If you want to find out what the reason is, it's usually somewhere that embedded in the questions. Um, if you read over here, blah, 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 start it over here. Electrical products will not accept a shipment of a certain part from a vendor if there's a reason to believe that the mean resistance is not 70 ohm. So the mean resistance in this case, they're talking about the mu, which is the mean of the population. So the mu is not 70. And the null hypothesis is just a plain boring one, which is mu equal to 70. Alright, so now I know that the alpha level is 0 0.05 and this is a two sample, sorry, this is a two-sided two z-test. So I have one over here, one over here. Right, so this over here will be a z-score that we will find next. So z-score. Um, Z-score. This is also Z-score over here as well. Alright, so let's find Z. So to find Z, I want to use these formulas over here. Z is equal to X var minus mu divided by S over square root of N. So X var is 66, mu is 70, S which is 10, and square root of n, we find it already over here, which is 36. So if you do this correctly, you should come up with something negative 2.4. So can we answer the questions yet? We, it's turned out that we can't. So to find out if there's sufficient reason to reject the shipment at alpha level to equal to 0 0.05, we need to find out what the p-value is which is kind of nice because the next question is actually asking you what is the p-value of your test. So let's find the p-value. Let me pull this down a little bit so you have more room. So p-value is t 
So to find out what p-value is, you need to use the table over here. So if you look at the table, this is a z table, and if you scroll all the way down, this is actually all z score. You want to scroll? We want to scroll all the way down to 2.4, which is right here. If you look just to the right hand side, it's equal to 0.4918. So let me write it out. 0.4 918. So somebody just walked into my room, so I'll probably have to do this all over again. But hang on. Almost done. Hopefully I don't have to. So if you do this math out, it comes out to be 0 0.0082. So this area over here is 0 0.0082. I forgot to explain that. Um, I know that half of this half of this bell shaped curve is 0.5 and this 0.4918 actually coming from, from this 0 0.0918 is this area over here so to find out what this area small area over here I just take this whole entire area which is 0.5 and subtract this area over here which is 0.4918 which is which we found from the table so if you do that you would get this number and remember, this is a two-sided test. So to find out what this is, it's actually pretty nice. We just take this and multiply it with two. The reason because um, this is a symmetrical picture. So whatever happened to this side also happened to this side over here. So if you do this, it comes out to be, um, let me think, point zero. I forgot what it was. Point, okay, point zero one six four. Alright, so now we can take this and compare it to our alpha level. So, if this number turned out to be smaller than the alpha level, then we have sufficient evidence to reject the shipment. So, what is the alpha level? It's 0 0.05. So, since, so now we can answer our question since 0 0.0164 is smaller than 0 0.05. We can say there is sufficient evidence to reject the shipment. something like that um, so I hope this kinda help you clear up some confusion that you had before you came here hopefully I don't make you even more confused um, if I do you can leave the comment in the section below and the section down below and I'm looking forward to answer that question for you thank you